Ugh, yeah, I forgot he summoned so many freaking sorcerers. Although, all the orbs, if he had a red one, it would remind me of Eternal Darkness. Because he pretty much has all the colors from Eternal Darkness. Which, Elinari is doing a Let's Play of that, and I'm enjoying him watching it because I didn't get very far in it before I got really bored. Making disciples. Ugh, screw you. The only good part is, when he starts making disciples, you at least know that he's getting low on health. Yeah, take it, take it. Yep, you saw it. Ow! What the hell was that? Oh, it's one of his cubes, probably. Ah, take that. I thought that would last a whole lot longer than it did. Guys and lava? I don't think so. Destroy my enemies. I really need to look up the, the this serpent rider's name. I remember Despero because he says his name. It just sounds like despair and peril mixed together. Steal in your health. Yes, keep shooting at nothing. I think having this many disciples would at least you'd at least have a couple that were like you know serpent rider material. Can't see. There we go. Turned on the lights. 
This music reminds me of Wolfenstein, the original. I've solved a piece of your puzzle. You're not so smart. But apparently not enough of it to get to the next part. No. No. Actually... Alright, so that's fold. What's next? I see what happened. Yeah, I went down. See, I don't know why he'd have all these, like, huge palaces with confusing crap, yet, like, you know, you could just walk that into some dimension and be like, well, I'm your king now, so get used to it. Save time. stairs. Am I missing something here? Ah. Tricky wizards. Or not so tricky wizards. Look, like something went off over there. Upstairs, but I think we already hit that. There we go. You know, people always have the prize block for Mario with the I'd hit that. But I wish that there was one with like the Doom level end switch. I would totally wear that. Mario, uh, it's overdone. I think at this point it's just, it's recycling the same old crap. Also, as mentioned, Mario has been getting more and more gay as time has gone on. Like, he's come to the point with Super Mario Galaxy with, with the, with how weirdly happy he is in that. Uh, you know that I don't think he he likes princesses anymore. You know what? Screw you guys. Ow! 
Oh, there's apparently a centaur behind me. Well, let's load. Alright. But, I don't know. Mario just seems to have that twinge recently. Smiling a little too much. I mean, come on now, he turns into a bumblebee in the Super Mario Galaxy 2. I think he does it in 1, but I didn't play it, so... I watched uh, Nintendo Capri Sun, and he's LPing it right now, so... Watching it, it's just kind of like... Mario used to always have that tough face on, like, biting his lip, like... I'm gonna get you. You're going down, Bowser. And then it, like, turned around, and he's like... Now he's like, Hey, a Bowser! Link gets more manly, Mario gets less manly. I mean, I understand Mario being like, a little more badass. I mean, come on now, he's like... Uh... Yeah, he's an adult, but Link? Link's a kid. guys go to hell. So, like, I don't know. I understand Link being a little weird acting. Oh, this is confusing me. I think I have to run through it. It slowly gets closer. So let's save. Ugh. Screw you guys. Wizards! Yeah, hit the centaurs, wizards. Do me a favor. No, I said wizard. I hit the centaurs, not me. Ow! all for this episode of Let's Play Hexen. It's beyond heretic. I always forget that. I always just think it's Hexen. Alright, well, see you later.